Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Majestic speaking with another episode of Mech Warrior Online here. And as you can see, we're doing another episode of the Daily Destruction Tour. This time we're taking out the Arctic Cheetah Prime variant. It is a Clan Omnipod mech, and I have it configured with five small pulse lasers. Now I know that the Arctic Cheetahs are commonly known for being overpowered, they're very tanky, there's glitches sometimes with them when it comes to shooting their hitboxes and everything. But nonetheless, I do enjoy playing this variant. Um, I enjoy this mech a lot, not just because of that uh, overpowered nature of it, but because it fits my role pretty well out there on the battlefield. Because of its tanky nature and those uh, the hard points configuring to short to mid-range brawling, this thing is actually perfect for me. So I really like taking it out there. And this is actually what I'm going to be playing in MRVC, so in the competitive league of Mech Warrior Online. Um, that is what uh, my, the rest of the team has chosen me to be uh, piloting for whatever reason, even though we all know I am terrible in light mechs. But I'm going to do my best here. I'm going to work with this guy some more. As you can see, I'm just trying to, you know, get some rust off and uh, do the best I can. So let's put it that way, given my uh, given the situation. And as you can see, we are intercepting some of the enemy lights here, cutting off their flank, and a couple of my friends helped gang up on that Jenner with me. Now we do have another Arctic Cheetah here, and we're gonna keep firing in on him. We do have to watch our heat a little bit here, wanna keep firing off on him. He's gonna cool and shut down, and I'm gonna shut down as well, unfortunately, and they're gonna take full advantage of that, but they still have some heavier mechs over there taking off my left arm, unfortunately. i got to be more mindful of my heat management, especially on this type of map from the Canyon Network. But this guy's in a horrible position, and he's just getting his components torn off right and left. We have that spider who's just jumping all over the place, getting those components off as well. We had another friend, Arctic Cheetah, up top. And this guy looks like he's going to bite the dust as well, so two quick, easy kills for us. The enemy team has gotten one kill on us. This guy just doesn't want to go down. As I said, these guys are just so tanky, so it's hard to bring them down. But it definitely feels satisfying when you do. So if you do see a cheat out there, don't get frustrated. It's very rewarding when you finally kill them. But as you can see, I'm just jump jetting around here, just trying to cause a little bit of a distraction. I know a lot of their team is over here, and I have some armor to lose. So what we're trying to do is really just put these guys in a tailspin, confuse them, make them constantly keep changing where they're firing. And ultimately allowing me and the rest of my uh, light crew over here to take advantage of that and just take them out of the battle completely. So as you can see, we are getting pinged by another light mech over here. It looks like a raven. And he's going to try and get away, but we're not really going to let him. We're going to try and get right behind him if we can. Keeping an eye on the minimap, it looks like they're trying to get a flank on us and we are trying to get a flank on them. So we're going to try and just be a huge distraction. Not really sure where that raven went, but we have this Kodiak's back turned towards us now. And uh, that Warhammer down there. So that takes two of their huge, very, very powerful mechs out of the battle. And we ultimately take down that Kodiak with the rest of the team. Now we are going to pincer them. That's what the aim is here. No pun intended, given the fact that we are taking out this crab right now. And we're just running back and forth in front of him. He doesn't seem to mind us doing that. And ultimately we take him out with the rest of the team. That cheetah's getting aggressive. We have this Black Knight now turned to us. We're gonna try and ping him up as much as we possibly can. We're probably gonna get an alpha pretty quickly. So we might not last the rest of the round, but we are serving our purpose. And that is just to be tanky, brawly, up front, close and personal, pinging these guys up one by one and really just taking them out of the fight entirely. So that the rest of our team can get their shots off. That Black Knight goes down. We're down to one small pulse laser remaining, still counts at the end of the day. And ultimately, there he goes, the final kill of the round on that cicada. That's going to do it for this episode of the Daily Destruction Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is the Arctic Cheetah Prime with five small pulse lasers, pretty meta. Um, zero killing blows, ten assists, two times doing the most damage, 520 damage, along with two components destroyed. Pretty solid round, pretty well-rounded across the board. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out the links below if you want to support the channel a little bit more. And I look forward to seeing you guys all on the next one. Take care, everybody.